Sarah Derrick. Oh, thank you, Mr Chair, uh, for this opportunity to rise in support of the um, annual reviews for environment in the uh, 2014 15 year and I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about um, the new wave of processes that are coming through in both mm. conservation and with respect to the management of our environment and that is of course with respect to bringing the community along with us with respect to collaborative uh, processes and uh, partnership models. And if you look at uh, what the Select Committee heard with respect to the Ministry of, of Environment and the reforms um, that are due with respect to the RMA, there is a call from the public to streamline processes and to make them less divisive in the community. And so what the Ministry of Environment um, have endorsed is collaborative processes that engage the community, engage uh, different stakeholders with often competing interests to bring them together to um, look at uh, common wins for managing resources. And one of those examples is the Land and Water Forum, where over 90 uh, stakeholders have come together to look at ways to manage uh, the water resource and water quality moving forward. And what we've found throughout that process is that at the other end, when it comes to um, providing recommendations and providing management plans moving forward to manage that water resource, um, we have uh, common elements flowing, flowing through, uh, no pun intended, flowing through uh, those stakeholder groups that they can come to agreement um, in and then put in practice uh, those proposals through to a competent um, management plan. The same goes with respect to the Department of Conservation. Uh, you know, in the past, often conservation has been looked upon as um, the poor cousin. You know, it often funding for that often comes behind our portfolios such as health and policing. But conservation to uh, New Zealanders is a very important portfolio and I really encourage the Department of Conservation in their move towards endorsing partnerships and taking the community with them um, in their conservation efforts. So as I said before, often communities have competing effort, uh, interests. But if um, the Department of Conservation can bring communities together, bring stakeholders together, um, they can find common elements and often with that community spirit get wins in a conservation um, effort to bring about um, a healthy environment for the community. And I want to talk about uh, one uh, such effort in my own electorate, and that's actually bringing together the uh, Healthy uh, Nature, Healthy Families initiative of the Department of Conservation, which talks about a healthy ecosystem, getting people out into that healthy ecosystem, enjoying nature, and learning about the benefits um, of nature, and through that, uh, creating a healthier lifestyle for themselves. That in conjunction with the Healthy Families Government Initiative, which is a health initiative, um, has the similar uh, messaging. In that, we talk about preventing disease through getting out into nature, being active, and um, doing healthy things. And uh, one of the collaborative processes that I ran myself was to bring both healthy families together with um, our DOC staff and run a function that encouraged our families to get out into nature and enjoy what Southland has to offer in our backyard. And that was called the Mad Day Out. It was called Mud Adventure and Discovery. And basically what people did was they came out to the Sandy Point Reserve uh, we had a short and long obstacle course uh, where people traipsed through nature through some of our tracks, up and down different obstacles that were put in the tracks, and then through an optional mud run. And families absolutely thrived on it. It was an event where mums and dads and guardians could get involved uh, with their children and enjoy nature and understand the benefits of um, nature. So as you can see, it's not just about getting big corporates involved, it's about taking the community with you, and it doesn't often cost a lot of money 
to bring about these initiatives. Mr Chair. The Honourable Maggie Barry.